Hello everybody and welcome to my fourth tutorial about FreeCAD CFD OF. In this tutorial I will show you the simulation of the QED flow. So the QED flow is just a rotating cylinder. So in the middle the velocity is zero and we have the rotation on the outer side. In this case, it's important that the rotation is only on the outer side, because if the rotation is on the inner side, you get some additional turbulence. And in this case, you get the Taylor Coet flow, which is quite different. The model we will build up consists of a cylinder with an inner diameter of 500 millimeter. The thickness of the tube is 10 millimeter and the length is 100 millimeter. The rotation is 100 revolutions per minute or um, transformed into 10.472 per second. For the talk, we have an analytical approach. So we start with a dynamic viscosity. This is given by the oil. Uh, which we will use. The dynamic viscosity is 0 0.104. Um, we, have a, we assume that we have a linear distribution and from that we get the shear stress. So the torque, we get a formula which is um, depending on the inner radius r, on the on the thickness S, on the length of the cylinder, and on the rotational speed omega. Um, we get um, a torque of 1.111 Newton meter. The velocity on the outer radius is calculated to 2.72 meter per second. In the next step, we will start FreeCAD and see what happens. We start with FreeCAD. First, we start with a part per inch. Um, here you see something that looks like a tube, and it is a tube. So we say the outer radius will be 260 millimeters. Inner radius is 250 millimeters. The length is 100 millimeters. Okay. We have to scroll a bit. Yes, here it is. So this is our model, and we are complete. We can switch switch to the CFD workbench. First, we start with a new analysis container. Then we can go to the physics model. Um, steady, single phase, incompressible, OK. The simulation is viscose, and we simulate lamina. So now our physics model is defined. We click on OK. We go to the fluid properties. We want to simulate the oil. And these are also the values we used for our analytical approach. We click on OK. So um, the next thing is we have to define the boundary conditions. We click here. This is a outer radius. Um, here, normally, we should have a rotary free degree of freedom, but um, this is not possible, so we define this as translating. And we input a velocity of 10 meter per second. Okay. Um, now we rename the label. The label will be outer radius. We click on the 
inner radius. And here the boundary is wall, subtype, no slip. That's OK. Um, we rename the label to inner radius. So next thing we have to do is to mesh. We click on tube and go to the measure. In this case, we will use the CF mesh. Um, the base element size will be 2.5 millimeters. We write the mesh case run the measure, and this lasts some seconds, so see you later. So now the meshing is complete. We can review the mesh. We can click on Load Surface Mesh. OK, so what we see is that the mesh is very dense, and this is very good for the solution, but it takes some calculation time. But um, in a way, this is OK. So we can close. Um, next thing is we must initialize uh, the first values. So we make a double click for the velocity. We specify five meter per second in the x direction. And for the pressure, we specify one Pascal. So we are finished. We click on OK. And now we can go to the solver. We write the case. And now there are two things that we have to edit. We go to edit. First, we must change the control dict file. We go to system, go to control dict, edit this. And yes, the reason is we want to know the, the talk. For this reason, um, uh, we must edit some commands. These commands are like in the tutorial you seen before. I took them from out of the tutorial from Mr. Oxtoby. I make copy. I go to this. I make paste. And now the patches is not wall, but it is uh, the outer radius. And the density is 870. OK. We save this, click OK. Now the next thing is uh, uh, we must take a look on the boundary conditions. We go to the, um, to the directory 0. We go to U. And we edit this. So I said before that um, there's in FreeCAD you cannot define a rotational degree of freedom as boundary condition. So you have to edit this in the file. So the um, the type is a rotating wall velocity. Then next thing is a we call it origin. So origin is where it turns round. So we say zero zero zero. That's okay. Um, The next thing is the axis. This is the axis of rotation. And we want to let it re rotate around the set axis. So we input here 1. Sorry, this is an S. 
And here we have to define the, the speed. This, this is called omega. And omega is, it is uh, 10 point four seven two. So now we are finished with uh, with editing. We can save, close, and now we can go back to FreeCAD and let it run. The convergence is very fast, so see you later. Now the simulation has finished and we can review the results. We start Paraview. Okay, we go to the last simulation step. So um, first thing what we want to do is take a look on the speed distribution inside. So we go to plot over line. The point in set coordinate is 0 0.05 for both. So also for the second, um, the x coordinate is set to zero for both points. The y coordinate is for the starting point, it's um, 0 0.25. And for the finish point, um, 0 0.26. We can go to plot, and here we see the pressure and we see the magnitude of the velocity. So we click uh, the, the magnitude away, and here we see the uh, distribution of the velocity. On the left side, the velocity is zero. On the right side, the velocity is minus. 2.7. So this is what we've calculated in advanced. This is our boundary conditions. So we delete the plot over line. Next thing what we want to do is um, take a look on the glyphs. Um, so these are vectors which show the direction. So we use an opacity for the for the model, um, I use 20%, click on glyph. And so now there are some things that we have to edit. So first we reduce the number of uh, sample points to 200. And what we want to look for the velocity is is a velocity, but um, I take the second velocity. So I say apply. And what you can see now is that we have a rotation. This was our intention to have a rotational degree of freedom. And as a result, we get a rotation. OK. So next thing, we go to the post processor for the talk. Go to post processing forces and go to the moments. And here are the, the moments around the center of rotation 0, 0, 0. Um, and we only want to take a look on the moment around the z axis. So here we get a value of 1.478 which is quite similar to the value that we've calculated analytically. Um, in that case, we have calculated 1.111. So now we take a look on the results. On the left side, you see the analytical approach. We assume that we have a linear distribution over the um, coordinates and we calculated a value of 1.11 newton meter. On the right side, you see the simulation with CFDOF. Um, we assume that we have a laminar flow and we get a torque of 1.478 newton meter. So they quite comparable. 
Conclusions. The CFD solution is similar to the analytical approach. The distribution of the velocity are nearly equal. The torques generated by the viscosity of the fluid are nearly equal. Tube losses are nearly equal in analytical solutions and in CFD simulation. In case a rotation is required as boundary conditions, the U file must be edited. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.